Thank you to all who have been using this semester's iHuman series. Congratulations on completing the course. This video is for you if you're a student working through complex clinical simulations. Today, we're breaking down a common case, an 83-year-old female presenting with chronic, worsening knee pain and stiffness. We'll walk through the entire process, from history to physical exam to diagnosis, showing you how to pinpoint the evidence that confirms the diagnosis and secures a perfect score. Let's start with the history. For OA, three things matter most in the history of present illness, HPI, duration, location, and timing of stiffness. The pain has been going on for about five years, is worse on the right knee, and the pain is inside the joint. If it were longer, we'd be considering rheumatoid arthritis, but this short duration strongly points to OA. Remember OLDCARTS? The most significant risk factors are age, being female, and increased weight. Our patient is 83 and has dealt with obesity and hypertension. Here is a golden rule. OA causes morning stiffness that lasts less than 30 minutes. This is your most consequential clue to distinguish it from inflammatory arthritis like RA. We always start with vitals and general assessment. The patient has an antalgic gait, a limping pattern adopted to avoid pain, and she needs a cane, showing functional limitation. We perform a basic cardiopulmonary exam, carefully auscultating the heart and lungs in the correct pattern. We confirm these baseline findings are normal before moving on to the musculoskeletal system. The upper extremity is key. Palpate the wrists and hands. When testing R-O-M, flexion was restricted to degrees, and the patient was unable to fully straighten her knees. Based on all the evidence, the correct diagnosis is osteoarthritis. Why not rheumatoid or septic arthritis? RA would have morning stiffness lasting over an hour and typically involves the small joints, not the dips. Septic arthritis would present with a severely hot, red, swollen, erythematous joint and likely a fever, which our patient denies. The case is a classic example supported by 1. Short morning stiffness, 2. Involvement of dips, pips, and CMCs, and 3. Key findings like effusion and bony deformity. That's how you synthesize a comprehensive clinical case. The key is to match the history and physical findings to the typical disease presentation. If this helped you study, hit that like button and subscribe for more clinical skills tutorials. If you're looking at this case and still feel unsure, don't worry. We are here to help you nail your clinical reasoning. DM us. TikTok at iHuman0003 or email at iHuman0003 at gmail.com. All the details are right on the screen. Let's work through it together.